America, sources tell us that the singer R. Kelly lives here at the Trump Tower and the residence is here. And Chicago police tell us they were here at 10 o'clock today acting on a tip that was originally called into the state's attorney's office from out of state saying that two women were here with the singer and that they were being held against their will. Police were able to speak to the singer and to each of the women. Both of the women said that they were okay and that they weren't in any danger. All of this on a day when the city moves a step closer to gaining access to R. Kelly's West Town Recording Studio. Social media shows it was another night of clubbing in Chicago for R. Kelly, all while the city worked to gain entry into the singer's now infamous West Town Recording Studio. There is no truth to the specious allegations regarding that property. <laughs> The attorney for the building's tenants is referring to the docuseries Surviving R. Kelly, charging the location is the home of a sex cult where women say they've been abused and held against their will by the singer. Who is who's right. responsible for the premise? Who's paying your salary? Sam Sims, however, wouldn't identify his client. Will you Have a questions? great weekend, everybody. Will you guarantee us Thank you so much. Is R. Kelly Have a great weekend, client? guys. Thank you so Wish much. Could... If it's being used improperly or wasn't converted properly, it's not safe for the occupants. Since Wednesday, city inspectors have been trying to gain entry into the building following a 311 call claiming people were living in the commercial warehouse, a violation of safety codes. So far, they've only made an exterior evaluation. A couple of windows have been bricked up that were existing windows prior. The city's request in court for a special order to enter was granted today. They'll return there with a strategic inspection team next Wednesday. I believe I can fly. R. Kelly has called the Chicago area home for years. Sources say he's currently living at the ritzy Trump Tower along the Chicago River. But workers near the West Town studio say until recently, they've always seen ample evidence of his presence. Well, he had all his cars in here, his three-wheelers and stuff like that. You knew when he was out of town because all the cars would be gone. And then you know when he's back because, you know, hard to find parking. R. Kelly's personal attorney has told us that the charges against his client are absurd. And again, city inspectors will be gaining access to the recording studio on Wednesday. And hopefully on that day, it will shed some light on the charges that encircle the singer. Reporting live from Trump Tower, I'm Vince Cherisoli, CBS 2 News.